All right, I did record a whole uh, January intro, and I realized that, hey, I did a January video already. So I'll throw the January video in the uh, hyperlink or whatever the fuck in card. You can go watch that if you want. February V3, about four months late, five months late. Uh, <laughs> and this was a, um, I believe this month, I would have been digesting the new Mitski album. I would have been continuing my toward listening pace of uh, Kate Bush's greatest hits. Um, I This would have been my last month in the gym, so some of these songs would have been gym cosigns. Some of these would have just been me bullshitting. Uh, Buzzy Lee, I was at home walking. I was like, this is good walking music. So there's a lot of different, different steezers here, so to speak. Uh, February is one of my last months not working, so it's actually a pretty good month. Uh, ever since then, my music listening has been uh, inconsistent, at the very least, and uh, it sucked dick being employed, uh, if you can imagine that. Um, so we'll just go through some of these, kind of give some brief thoughts. Uh, as far as I can remember, I have not listened to any of these playlists, I don't know how long, February probably. Uh, nobody sees me like you do. This was something that came into my notifications when I was looking uh, at Spotify. Um, I thought it was cuttering floor shit with uh, Jubilee. I, a very somber song, another one about a mother, I believe. Um, Japanese Breakfast is really fucking good. This was, I believe, one of the lead singles for Crash, Charlie album. And Rina Sawayama was the best part, as I recall. Charlie, the, all the songs I've heard for Crash were not great. This one was particularly decent. But Sawayama, as she's been in 2022, was great on this. Uh, Pink Panthers, every Pink Panther song is good to some degree. You may get a good 45-second verse from her, but always good shit. Wuthering, Wuthering, Wuthering Heights, Heathcliff. It's me. I cannot listen to the song anymore because I played it so much. Uh, Wuthering Heights, Ryuchi Sakamoto, one of the greatest in his field. I've listened to quite a few tracks around him, from him around the block. I'm not listening to the entire album of uh, this pianist, but on the GOAT. Uh, I was kind of listening to some mystic shit. I think uh, before listening to Laurel Hell, just, I like to listen to old tracks. Uh, because I'm a piece of shit. Walking Denzel Curry, this one of the lead singles from his recent album, uh, Milk My Eyes. I thought it was pretty decent, as I recall. Um, I think there's a music video for this that was like him walking the desert or some shit. Being the Butcher, always great. Freddie Gibbs, always kind of good if you don't like make him fight in fucking videos and get his ass kicked. Uh, Hustles by Lupe Fiasco, this was an older track. Uh, I believe it was a Lucy. It was also pretty good. Uh, Laura Hill, like I said, pretty great. Mimi Def, really excellent fucking artist. Uh, kind of skittish, hyper pop, but I would say based in kind of hip hop primarily, like hyper pop, but hyper hip hop. Think about hyper pop. It's like oh, some some hyper pop artists that basically make hip hop music, but it's hyper pop. I don't think hyper hip hop is a word, so. Hyper rap? I don't know. It's not rap. She, she doesn't rap, but really, really good producer. Uh, that's kind of a more of a somber track, as I recall, Snow. Uh, but I would recommend uh, her fucking, because of how sample heavy her projects are, uh, they've been fucking scalping terms of songs that are allowed on the internet, or at least allowed on Spotify. But this one has the majority of the ones that I recall were on the album I listened to on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, you pretty much get whatever doesn't get scalped by the uh, claiming service on streaming services for Mimi Duff. Uh, I don't remember this one on Linting, but I remember that one particularly well. I listen to a lot of fucking songs, but I'm sorry. So, I've spoken to Zazone. Nate, number eight, BB Belt, Zazone. He does basically a new rap uh, freestyle for any given viral video that comes out on his Twitter. I recommend going to subscribe to his Twitter. Uh, Brain Song, and I remember this, but I would have played it after listening to Rain Song by uh, by Lil Ugly Mane, uh, X, uh, Antoine. So, if you've never heard Antoine and Lil Ugly Mane's Rain Song, I recommend listening to that. Die Coke by Pussy T. You said you want to die Coke as a joke, right? Um, I believe this was the lead single for that album. Really good song. Uh, City of Gods, basically 
part two of Off the Grid. A little bit more uh, poppy than I would have liked, but should the fuck talk to me uh, off of his album, Zach Fox's album, which was him being more rappy rap than meme rap. Uh, I like the song. Green, Green Grass of Home. Uh, anyway, I was listening to a, uh, a playlist that was the basically representing the part six kind of soundtrack. And this is the, I don't want to spoil it. It's going to be some guy that watches this that wants to, you know, consume JoJo's part six. And this, we're going to get to Green Green Grass at Home until 2024. So I'm not going to spoil this for you, one viewer that also fucks with JoJo the way I do. But it's a stand and JoJo's is very impactful. And the song is also very impactful. Uh, Kill Kish, always try to give Kill Kish a couple of listens every couple of years or so. I love uh, K+. Plus. I don't remember the song, but if I gave it a like, that means I liked it when it comes to Kilo Kiss because I, I listen to Kilo Kiss so I kind of forget about it. Very engaging artist, generally speaking. Uh, Sundown Queen, Bone Dry High, shout out to Buzzy Lee. Sp- uh, Spielberg's Kid, shout out to Steven Spielberg's Kid. Uh, Crazy Story Part 3, King Vaughn. I listened to King Vaughn, uh, took us to the O, I believe, in March. Really good song, too. Uh, Viper. Oh, God, there's a Viper song I love that I heard uh, probably around this time. Uh, she something, she something. Let me see. It's like the only Viper song I have. Hey, maybe one day you'll see me again. Uh uh-huh. It's like a, a fucking sample in the back on that beat. That's so fucking great. Uh, yeah, so Cracks and Crevices. Come on, man. Saw baby. 30 hours. I'm not sure. I, I think the, the, the Kanye Kim breakup is what came back to this song. I'm not sure. But still a really good song. Uh, Analog 001. I've never heard this entire project. And it's the only song I took from this, if I recall. I've heard a good bit of it. I'm not sure why I put that in there. I can't remember. Probably a good song, I imagine. Um, Mona Lisa Momtoon. Momtoon is an interesting artist. Very interesting. I think she's Asian, part Asian. Interesting looking artist as well. Be a Doobie. This was old Bia Badoobie, right? Like a year ago, two years ago? A year ago. Um, Bia Badoobie is great in making music. Earworms. Amazing. Shoot out Rob Banks. Basically the lead single for Falconia, which is a good album to me. Uh, Lose Your Love by Dirt Projectors. I don't remember. Uh, Dragon, New War Mountain, I believe in something, something, something. I believe there you go. May be my highest rated album, I think, to this to this point in the year. I've not done a good job of listening to albums all the way through. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But that was a pretty good album. Now it should not be an album year for anybody. I listened to like fifty uh Os Quinn, Quinn, Parker, Little Black Kid that makes kind of peep the rid of music. Uh a couple of them pretty good. A couple. Not a bad artist by any means, but yeah. not my not my cup of tea. I, I tried though. I 50, 60 songs, like no, no bullshit. There's a play that's like a hundred songs. I listened to like fifty of them. It was fucking crazy. Uh, Argula, Arugula. I listened to another song from this album like yesterday. I listened to this album all the way through. Uh, Just me, yeah. I listened to Just Me like yesterday. Uh, the Loopers is really, really interesting uh, rapper. Flows. Yes, the best dynamics of flows in. In music, really, I, I could make the uh, argument. I think I have a fucking bone bruise in my knee. How long has the video been going for? Okay, we'll cut it short then. Uh, Foreign Exchange by Good, Young Good, and R.S. Poppy. One of my favorite tapes that I've heard this year. Uh, 12 South Street, Albino Steve, uh, Liars, one of the most somber, if not the most somber track I've ever heard from R.S. Poppy. Um, I love the entire album. Good is such a good producer. Uh, you kind of figure out why some of those fucking sugar pop bullshit you see from Young Lean and Dream Gang is so good now. Um, only both for Cuban Link's really good album from what I've heard. This the entire album. I know that's Cardinal Sin, but Ghostface Killer, really good fucking uh, artist. Child's Play, uh, Biscuits. Is that Raekwon? Is that? No, that's Killer. That's, that's Ghostface Killer, right? Biscuits. Yeah. Try the Ghostface Killer. Good artist. 
Uh, Tom's dying. I think of a Susan Vega kick after hearing Blood Makes the Voice uh, from a 90s playlist that was by Cumbtown or by a member of Cumbtown. Uh, I know the one on that playlist, I believe, was Portis Head's. Uh, I, I don't know if it was Boss, but it was one of the Portis Head uh, dummy tracks. We have been at once, and uh, I love that album. I listen to that one all the way through. TV Girl. Cool track. I think I heard it on a Daily Mix. Cool track. I uh, have to repay. I believe this was one of the online uh, track. Because the offline version the online version of LP. I believe this is the first one he put on Spotify of the offline tracks. Uh, Yvonne by Makami, Makami uh, off of Bulletproof Law. Bulletproof Law is pretty good. Uh, or Moss. This was one of the most interesting collaborations I've ever seen just because of the uh, artist listed. Lil Uzi Vern Pink Panthers have better chemistry than you would ever think. Muramasa, I think, does a fantastic job of bringing random artists together. Uh, this is a, I feel like this is a good reimagining of um, Love Sick. 99 Loof Balloons. Another playlist I heard this from. Uh, the songs I remember. Green and Gold, Nina La Havas. Nina La Havas and Erica de Cassier, who have collaborated before. Uh, really good artists. I love both of them. Uh, Green Garden and Laura Mugula. Uh I've heard it a couple times around the block. So that is that. Uh, I also did an Apple Music playlist. I'm not sure I'm still able to ask. I haven't had access to Apple Music since March. A three month playlist. Um, probably not anything crazy off of there, but you know, I always try to give a couple of spins every once in a while. Yeah, there we go. One song <laughs> Fourth Dimension by Kitsy Ghost uh, featuring Louis Prima. Great. Great, great song. Shout out to an album that I do not love them as much as some people do, but pretty good. Uh, pretty good. So yeah, that's about it. Let me look at some of what I listened to in uh, Last FM and close out from there. Kate Bush, Wuthering Heights, and then Kate Bush, Wuthering Heights. Uh, VPN by Lil Ugly Main. I think this really just started started the uh, what the fuck am I saying? This was kind of the beginning of me really falling in love with that song. I've like had so many phases with that fucking album. Cold in here into it live. I've had these different phases with different songs of the album. I got to listen to Ugly Man. I really do. It's fucked up my streaming uh, numbers. Working for the knife. Uh, really like that song. Uh, Portion slightly. If you want to by Be a Badoobie. That's kind of how I came to find about that EP that I mentioned earlier. Was I was listening to. Uh, that album frequently, and if you want to, is such a fucking classic. Me, Your Man by Droog, uh, really good verse by Ugly Man on there. And I also really came to appreciate uh, Droog's verse on there as well. Also, a great beat by, I believe, Sadhu Gold, who did a uh, pretty pretty solid tape with Makami. I believe that was, he did Triz. Was it Triz Nathan? I think he did Triz Nathan. I want to say either Tris Nathan or Tris Nate because Conductor Williams did Tris Nathaniel. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. M- Mirrored Heart came to that pretty often uh, the last few months. Really uh, underappreciate how good is it called Cellophane? No, Magdalene. Magdalene is with tracks like Cellophane, Mirrored Heart. Um, even the, the Future song aged pretty well. Purser, another one that kind of was this late grower for me off of Volcanic Bird Enemy and the Grab the fuck in between. Uh, little motherfuckers. Yeah, I was listening to um, a couple more deep cuts on Doom, and I came across this one. I think I played like five songs five songs in a row in a coffee shop. I don't know if that, that this month or whenever, but uh, that beginning, that intro, the kind of skit that they throw in there from like a Superman movie or some shit, I fucking love it. Can I, can I, hold up. I got I got I to gotta do it justice. Hold up. I'm, I'm going to end after this. I'm, I'll just scroll through. You can kind of see my stream and, or, or my scrabbles, but let me see. No more focus. Hold on, let me see. Uh, please, lyrics, please. Genius, come through for me, please. No, I got to get this skit right. There we go. When I got to turn the lights, daddy. Right after dark, Amy. It'll light the whole lawn. We we'll love the whole world, Daddy. Love the whole world. Love the whole. And it starts reverberating. That shit. And then Doom kind of like these kind of uh, pointed bars about getting these little ass rapping niggas out of the fucking paint. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, from there, pretty much nothing crazy. You know, Growing Pains by Blue Nets, I recommend that track and that album. Uh, Give You My Flower, I Can Still Smell Them, I believe is the title of it. Um, I actually have as many like songs from there as I do from Blow to Heaven. It's not as tight a track list as Blow to Heaven, but really good. Cloud Busting, um, some more Lovely Man. You don't give a fuck about Lovely Man. I do, but I, I listen too much of them. Uh, why about Jada Kiss? If you've never listened to Jada Kiss, he has some really good fucking songs back in two thousands. Uh, Bunny is a rider. Also, was playing the shot of uh, Adele's uh, kind of seminal hits off of. Uh, I believe that would have been nineteen. I believe. Um, yeah. So let's go. Let's get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.